With all of these new mods being introduced into Hogwarts Legacy, today I'm gonna to go through how to install a couple of these different types of mods, make it super easy for you, and let you enjoy all these mods and all that they can do for your game. So first we're gonna look at a visual or in-game type of mod. So an in-game item mod would be like a sorting hat. Um, the, for instance, the gun mod that adds that to the game or broom mods to add brooms to the game, just as an example. So how this is gonna work is you're gonna to go to Nexus mods and the Hogwarts Legacy page which will be linked in the description you're gonna to go to whatever mod you would like to download do the manual download and do slow download and it will begin to download so all of these mods are gonna be downloaded the same way so all the mods start that way exactly the same you're gonna see it downloads a zip file so what you're gonna do is double click the zip file once this opens, I created just a regular folder for my mods just to sort them. So you can just make a folder and you're just going to take all this stuff and copy it out. You don't have to do this install.txt file. Just take the three main files and copy them to a folder somewhere. So one thing you always want to check on the mod page is this description tab for your mod. It's going to tell you exactly how to install that mod uh, right here. So that way there's no confusion and what items it replaces, etc. So that way you know how to use the mod. Next, they want you to put all three of those files you just downloaded into your Hogwarts Legacy game directory folder under packs and mods folder. So I'm going to show you that now. So what you're going to want to do if you've never done this before is open up Steam, go to Library, go to Hogwarts Legacy, go to the Settings icon on the right, click Properties. Once you click Properties, you're going to go to Local Files and Browse. So it will bring up your local files for your game. So you can see one of the places it wanted you to go was into the Phoenix folder, into the Content folder, into the packs folder and then it wants these mods to be put under a mods folder but I, but it's it specifically mentioned tilde mods so certain mods will so certain mods when they're created they pointed them to this mods folder and this mods folder with the tilde so what you're going to do just for future reference create two empty folders in here one named mods one named tilde mods and then whatever that specific mod tells you to do or where to put it, that's where you're going to put it. So this mod wants us to put it in our empty folder tilde mods. So if there's anything in there or it's empty, that's just where you want to put it. So as you can see, I'm going to open up this tilde mods folder I created. I already have stuff in there. Uh, you're just going to paste that stuff in there and that's all you have to do for right now. So once you've pasted that in there, all you have to do is exit out of your game, restart your game, and once you restart it, it will load these files in with the game. And then all you have to do is follow the actual instructions here of how to use that mod. So this replaces the explorer cap, so you just put on the explorer cap in game, and the mod will work. The same goes for other mods, like I mentioned before, that just need to be put in this mods folder. Some will... Some will specifically mention being put in tilde mods and some will be specifically mentioned to put in mods. As you can see here, I'm using a mod in game. I'm using a sorting hat mod. I'm using a bunch of other broom mods, all kinds of things. So you can do mods this easily. Um, and whenever you want to add a new mod, just exit out of your game, throw your mod files in there, restart the game and you're good to go. So soon I'm going to release another video that specifically discusses shader mods because shader mods make your game look absolutely amazing. I've been using one for the past couple days. You guys have to install these shader mods. They're, they make the game look literally so good. I'm going to make a video for that, so make sure to click on that on the right-hand side of the screen. Subscribe on the left. This is how easy it is to install mods in this game. All you have to do is exit out of the game, install your mods, reboot it, good to go. That being said, hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions to help get this going for you. Thanks.